As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Kona on tap! Charlotte's going to SummerSlam! It is now a triple threat match for the SmackDown Women's title at SummerSlam. It looks like Becky Lynch isn't too happy. And just like that, mathematically, the odds dwindle. I'm ready to reclaim my throne. Everything I have fought for has led me to this moment. Mella is more money than ever. <laughs> get your popcorn ready. You add Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and Carmella to the equation, it's going to get crazy. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. The battle the world's been talking about. Roman Reigns. Brock Lesnar. Brock is going to put down the big dog and go on to UFC and become a two sport champion. I don't give a crap about the WWE Universe. This is my own. Roman claims he is the uncrowned champion. This time, the story will end with me becoming champion. Who will survive? The big dog, the beast, for the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Samoa Joe on AJ Styles and the Coquina Clutch! What the hell is happening? It was an ambush! TikTok tip! TikTok! Oh, AJ, you've lost focus on what's really dangerous around you. Samoa Joe clashes with Styles for the WWE Championship. Can he tear down the house that AJ Styles built? As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Ronda Rousey has not forgotten what Alexa Bliss did to her in her championship opportunity in Money in And now, WWE Network presents SummerSlam Kickoff. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. WWE has taken over all of Brooklyn, New York to bring you the biggest event of the summer. We are here kicking things off to set the stage for all of the chaos that is to come in the next two hours. Every single championship in WWE is on the line, and we've got superstars from Raw and SmackDown all here at a sold-out Barclays Center. Oh, baby, this is it. Welcome to the SummerSlam kickoff show. I am your host, Renee Young. We are going to be breaking down all things SummerSlam, all of the matches, all of the superstars. It's all happening right here, but I'm not doing it by myself. Please welcome from Sirius XM's Jim and Sam show, the last professional broadcaster, Sam Roberts. Wonderful, Renee. Thank you for having me. I love SummerSlam so much. You know, my first WWE live event as a child was 1992, Wembley Stadium. It was SummerSlam then. It's SummerSlam tonight, and I can't wait to see Brooklyn get set on fire, metaphorically. It's going to get lit, as they say. Uh, please welcome WWE Hall he of Famer excited. Booker T. He ain't excited. Look here, man. This is the time of year I always get that itch. You know what get I mean? Make me want to come back and do a little something, something. You know what I mean? This is SummerSlam, the biggest. Come on, y'all. Uh, uh, this is SummerSlam, baby. <laughs> what a good 
Kite Man. And we've also got WWE superstar, film star, action star, all around great dude, David Otunga. King of the beard line, you could go on and on. Yeah, you and look, look fresh. Thank, well, thank you, you know, I try. But you're right, this is the biggest party of the summer. Hey man, you gotta get up. This is SummerSlam, bro. Yeah, talking get on about. Up. This is it. You know, I mean, it's gonna be I lit. Know, I know he's it's used lit. to those corporate parties and whatnot. <laughs> but tonight, <laughs> look here, right. I, I let my hair down for the event. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so here's a very cool thing about the SummerSlam kickoff show. The entire two hours that we're here, we are going to be live in virtual reality. So anybody that's joining us from uh, from Next VR and Oculus, welcome. We're gonna get that entire 360 approach to SummerSlam, which is such a cool extra bonus feature here that we're gonna be rolling down. But here's the other thing. There is only one place that you are going to be able to catch SummerSlam, and that is on the WWE Network. So head on over to wwenetwork.com, sign up, because SummerSlam is absolutely free to all new subscribers. So get with it, we're gonna be streaming live at 7 p.m. Eastern time, and you do not wanna miss a second of that. And with that, I'm talking about this WWE Championship matchup. It's a match that's become increasingly personal over the last few weeks, and tonight, Finally, AJ Styles defends his WWE Championship against Samoa Joe. Oh, but this one right here, money in the bank contract on the line, the monster among men. Braun Strowman takes on Kevin Owens, and if Strowman loses in any capacity, Kevin Owens wins the money in the bank, and you know what's next? Huh? Shawty, what you drink? <laughs> <laughs> and you talk about being excited. How about the match that the entire WWE Universe has been waiting for since Daniel Bryan's return was announced? He finally gets his hands on The Miz, and it's tonight. And then you have the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, which will be on the line as the New Day will see if the power of positivity and some pancakes are enough to overpower the brute force of the Bludgeon Brothers. And the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey's in pursuit of her first championship in WWE. Will she get it done tonight when she stands toe to toe with Alexa Bliss? Yeah, baby, triple threat match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Carmella, we find out tonight if she is truly money when she takes on Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. Well, the rivalry that we've been watching build on Monday Night Raw comes to a head tonight. It's Finn Balor versus the Constable, Baron Corbin. And this is the big one, the one we've been waiting for. Brock Lesnar is here in Brooklyn and will defend the Universal Championship against Roman Reigns. The big dog is ready to be unleashed in Suplex City. And the enigmatic Jeff Hardy looks to regain his United States Championship as he battles the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Intercontinental Championship will be on the line tonight when Dolph Ziggler defends against Seth Rollins. Drew McIntyre will be in the corner of Dolph Ziggler, but Dean Ambrose is back. And you gotta sure love it. Is. He is back and he's looking good. So what you guys got to do, <laughs> head on I like over it. to <laughs> www.network.com, sign up, because SummerSlam is absolutely free to all new subscribers, and we're going to be streaming live at 7 p.m. Eastern time. What a night we're about to have, but this is not it for our broadcast team. We are doing things it's big tonight. It is a party. Yeah, it's a party, baby. So yeah, welcome to our party, Mr. John Bradshaw, Layfield, and Peter Rosenberg. <laughs> We're back. We're back together, Pete. They got the band back together. How exciting is this? Oh, this Sold out Barclays Center, SummerSlam. Iconic moments in the history of this business have been created at SummerSlam. I may create my own catchphrase. Something like, shucky Dougie quack quack. Oh, no, 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 no. That's actually, you can't, you can't do that. I just created it. I'm going to get a shirt that you, says that. No. shucky Dougie quack quack. I am. I'm going to create it. Well, I'll tell you It'll what. Get all, it's going to get over like crazy. Everybody's going to be saying it. When I think about SummerSlam, you know what I think about? 2004, The Undertaker. You remember that, that I match? do. I walked in with a WWE Championship. I walked out the WWE yes. Championship, and as far as I remember, I beat The Undertaker right in the middle of the ring. No, no, no it was a DQ. You got choke slammed through your own car. That was... Don't remember all that, but iconic moment. I love SummerSlam. I love point. SummerSlam. It's going to be electric in the Barclays Center tonight, and I couldn't be happier to be here with you. Now, let's take a look back. Something happened on Raw last week that was insane. Seth Rollins has had enough of being double teamed by Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. So he went and found himself some backup. I've kind of gotten sick and tired of dealing with you guys two on one. And since I know you're going to have the Scottish psychopath in your corner at SummerSlam, 
I figure I ought to have a lunatic in mind. All right. And now, who, who could this be, JBL? <laughs> I mean, electric. I love the look, by the way. I love the look. I love the fact that he's got backup. And I love the fact now that we're going to see a, a, the final climactic match here between two incredible superstars, two of the best Intercontinental Champions, two of the best superstars in WWE history. Absolutely. And the history they have with the Shield, so much energy for these two. It changes everything tonight with the Intercontinental Championship on the line. You talk about an elite matchup. When you talk about Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler, both have the two of the most exciting cash-ins of Money in the Bank in history. Both have been U.S. champions, Intercontinental champions, tag team champions, two-time world champions. And now we're going to see these guys go at it. This match right here could steal the show. All right, so that's what I have to ask you, though. Now that things are even, now that Seth Rollins doesn't have to worry about Drew McIntyre costing him time and time again, now that he has his brother back, how do you see tonight playing out? I think Dolph Ziggler walks out with it. I think Dolph Ziggler has been on fire. He's, he's been on fire for years. I think he has something to prove. And I think sometimes when you got some lunatic in your corner, it doesn't necessarily help. The thing I'm excited about, the winner here is going to be the fans because now you're not going to have outside interference from these two guys. These guys are going to negate each other, and you're going to see what I believe is going to be one hell of a match. Well, listen. There is a lot of action tonight, including coming up on the kickoff show tonight. We have the Cruiserweight Championship on the line, Cedric Alexander and Drew Gulak. And am I excited about this tag team matchup. The B team takes on one of the best pure tag teams in sports entertainment today, the revival for the Raw Tag Team Championship. And then we have mixed tag action, Rusev and Lana against Sien Amas and Zelina Vega. It's all coming up tonight. Oh, it's a happening. It's, it's a summer, happening. It's, it's happening. happening. It's the SummerSlam kickoff show. Get in the ring. High flying off the ropes insanity. Roman Reigns with the spear. Kinshasa. It's multi man mayhem. Awesome. Dad, isn't my turn yet? It's only been 10 minutes. It's been four hours. WWE figures, rings, championship titles, and masks each sold separately. This is the SummerSlam kickoff show, and tonight at the biggest event of the summer, we've got every single piece of WWE hardware in the balance. Every single superstar knows just how bright the lights are here on this grand stage, and maybe none other than SmackDown Women's Champion, the trash talker, moonwalker, Carmella. She's headed into her most difficult matchup to date, which started out as a match against Big Becky Lynch, also gained a queen. I have been patiently waiting, and I've never stopped working as hard as I possibly can, but I am just getting started. Big opportunity at hand for Becky Lynch, a victory over Carmella will assure Becky a title opportunity at SummerSlam. You hear that, Carmella? Straight fire is coming for you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, feet on the ropes, and Becky was still able to kick out. Becky will not quit on her dreams. Becky Lynch is going to SummerSlam. And come SummerSlam, I think it's time Becky Balboa became the SmackDown Live Women's Champion again. What do you say? for SummerSlam. And Dayton had uncalled for. This is so typical of Carmella. Wait a minute. It's Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch's best friend, coming to help out Becky. I'm going to teach you how to be a real champ. You will face Charlotte Flair. And if Charlotte wins, your title match at SummerSlam will become a triple threat. So here we go, Carmella trying to keep Charlotte out of the SmackDown Women's title match at SummerSlam. And now Carmella trying to inflict as much punishment as possible. And now Charlotte bridging to the figure eight. Carmella tap, Charlotte's going to SummerSlam. It is a triple threat match for the SmackDown Women's title. 
You know I wasn't trying to ruin your moment. I get it. So the hill that I got to climb just got a little bit bigger, but hey, well, what's new? I get to prove I'm the best by beating the best. I am the greatest female athlete this company has ever seen. See, I'm willing to risk it all. I'm willing to go through anything and anyone, even if that means my best friend. And I am going to be the SmackDown Women's Champion again. Good luck with that. Luck has nothing to do with it, Charlotte. It's every woman for herself in a triple threat match. Carmella, you're a diva living in a women's era. I am a diva, and I'm damn proud of it. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I'm the SmackDown Women's Champion for a reason, and they can say whatever they want. This title is not going anywhere. Okay, so there's a bazillion questions that I have he heading into this matchup, but I think first and foremost, are Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair going to stay on the same page tonight? I think that's a huge question mark. I'm, Go I ahead, mean, obviously, David. you know, they're best friends, but at some point, you're going to have to put friendship aside. They both want the SmackDown Women's Championship, so. I think that, Be that Becky has more or less kind of been Charlotte's best friend for a long time. It's time to step up in this momentum that she's got and run with it. I mean, beyond that, I think that there must be some tension there. Becky can't be happy that Charlotte is involved in this match, regardless of if they're friends. Booker, you'd know more than me. You've been in cir circumstances like this before, but I think Charlotte being in this match, by my math, took Becky's chances down to like 33 and a third percent. You, you just <laughs> you said on that right. beat team match? No, 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 you just said it right right there. I mean, Carmella, I mean, one on one with Charlotte, I'm going to go with Charlotte. You know, uh, Carmella, one on one with Becky. I'm going to go with Becky, but with all three in there, I mean, this just ups the odds for, for Carmella. I mean, tonight, Carmella could truly be money if she does just one thing, walk away with the championship by any means necessary. It doesn't have to be uh, a, a, a clean win in the middle of the ring. Sure. It, doesn't, it doesn't have to happen like that. Just walk away champion. Four months turn into five months. Five months turn into a year. She can have one of the longest women's championship reigns in the history. She wow. looks amazing holding on to the SmackDown Women's Championship. But I think that she's been underestimated this entire time. You know, I, I, I say that to all my friends. I mean, people talk about Carmella. They, they think, she, like she said, she's a diva. But she's uh, calculated. She, I mean, she goes, well, you don't. You I don't wasn't doing it to you. I was doing it in general. Oh, okay. right. I'm with uh, you. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just She's saying. good at taking advantage of situations, yeah. that's for sure. But in this situation, she doesn't have an advantage. Sure, these two might be squabbling with each other, but the champion doesn't have to even get beat to lose the title in a triple threat situation. A little bit of a scary that, that situation. Is true. That is yeah, true. I know. Well, oh, I know I've watched a lot of triple threats <laughs> in my time. <laughs> We're going to get to hear a lot more about this matchup from Peter and JBL coming up here on the Smack or, uh, SummerSlam kickoff show. And we would like to extend a very special thank you to Flo Rida for Sweet Sensation, the official theme song of WWE SummerSlam. It's available now on iTunes and Spotify. I mean, booty work, booty work. You man the kid. Got this? Yeah. Man appreciate it. Appreciate it. Baby. There we go. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. That's all right. Yep. Nice. 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 There we go. Oh, Brooklyn! Oh, Brooklyn is a very special place for us. As a matter of fact, Brooklyn is where we started our epic record-breaking tag team championship title reign of 483 days, mm. baby! So yeah. It is also the birthplace of the one and only Francesca. Ooh. Rest. Mm. Oh, yeah. Brooklyn is also where we spent that one night with the slip and slide, no, the no, baby no, oil, and the wrestling head gear. No, 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 no,
there you have it. The WWE Universe filing in to the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York City. SummerSlam 2018. So, so excited to be with you, JBL and the WWE Universe. And of course, everyone is thinking about this match tonight. The Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman and Kevin Owens. The question is, what in the world can Kevin Owens do with Braun Strowman, this Monster Among Men? Yeah, well, let's take a look back last Monday on Raw. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You, you look at Braun Strowman, he is a one-man wrecking crew. Jinder Mahal is a huge man, and Braun Strowman not only dwarfs him, but manhandles him. Yeah, KO has not been able to catch a break. I mean, every week he wants that briefcase but he always finds himself running away from the monster among men. He's a smart guy, wouldn't you? Nothing to do with Braun Strowman. Me running up the ramp is me getting ready in ring shape, in good ring shape for SummerSlam because it's the biggest match of my career. Do you understand? I'm this close, Mike Rome, to regaining my Universal Championship. But before I can do that, I have to get the Money in the Bank contract so I can cash in on whoever the champion is. Uh, okay, my first question. Have you ever been so scared of an opponent that you did an interview hiding under a towel in the back of a car? <laughs> Not sure he's hiding, it's just discretion is the better part of valor. Look, he got what he wants. Look, this is horrible for Braun Strowman. Kevin Owens has a chance to get one of the most valuable things in WWE, and that is that contract that's inside that Money in the Bank briefcase. I know, the, the, the contract is everything. It, it can totally change your life. My question is this. Kevin Owens knows, he's a smart guy. He knows he doesn't want to be battling in the middle of the ring with Braun Strowman. You've been through this before. You've had monsters to try to deal with. What do you do strategy-wise hey, if you're Kevin Owens? You mentioned SummerSlam 2004 man, in a joking manner, but at one point during that match with The Undertaker, I realized I couldn't beat him. I, I could not physically win that match. And what I had to do to escape with the championship was get myself or Undertaker disqualified. And that's exactly what happened. I spent a week in a, in a neck brace. I got choke slammed to my own limousine, but I walked out as WWE champion. That is what Kevin Owens has to do. He has to steal a page from JBL's playbook, from Eddie Guerrero's playbook, from Hot Rod Roddy Piper's playbook, and he has to find a way to make this monster among men so angry that he gets himself disqualified and Kevin Owens walks out with that contract. Well, that's the thing I think people take for granted is how smart KO is. He knows what people are seeing. He knows Braun Strowman sees the footage of him in the back of the car. He wants to put everyone to sleep that he has no chance and he knows exactly what to do and he will try to do everything to get under his skin. I completely agree. Of course he will. Like Braun Strowman is a smart guy, but he has an incredibly bad temper. Oh, really? And that's, yes, surprising, isn't it? And that is going to the, the, the talk, about, talk about the Earth's round. You know, it's talking about something surprising. Braun Strowman, that's the fault that he has, and that's the opportunity that KO has. I don't think that KO can beat him one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, KO is a great talent. He's brilliant, like you say. I don't think he's got to come up with something. He's got to come up with something. I think he will. And then the question is, will one of these men potentially cash in tonight? Like, who, who knows? That's all the stuff we have on the table at SummerSlam at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. And it has been an absolutely amazing week in Brooklyn. Every year it is. And this week is no different. Let's take a look back at the week that was in Brooklyn for SummerSlam. It's a big week for WWE. Woo! People are coming all around the world to see SummerSlam. Woo! Go, go, go. Being here in New York City, it's without a doubt. The hottest show of the summer. Nothing gets more New York than Yankee Stadium. Holy cow, that's So when you're done with baseball, come join us in the WWE. Hey, you got the look, brother. Hey, thanks. And this whole week of events that is WWE's takeover of New York City. I think one of the things I love the most about WWE is how involved we are in the community that hosts us. SummerSlam week, it's an opportunity for WWE to give back in as many ways as we possibly can. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. It's not only an opportunity to put smiles on people's faces, but it's also an opportunity to do some really amazing things outside of the ring. Whether it's the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, Special Olympics, Honors Cure. Hey. You guys like to hear a song? Yeah. yeah. Well, then uh, go online and buy a ticket to come out to SummerSlam, OK? It's going to be a good show. It's the biggest party of the summer, good brother. I'm lost for words. But you're saying words. That's awesome. He is awesome. Get a mini cake from me, Biggie, yeah. I love the vibe here, especially being the Prince of Staten Island. Yes, so fabulous. Oh my god. Can I have a hug? 
Thanks for what you do. We appreciate it. And it's just too sweet. sweet. <laughs> numbers turn into selfies and selfies turn into wide. You would have missed this and healthy. My eyes have been awakened. The future is now. Homie, the world is for the taking. People are flying in from all over the world. We're from Belgium. From Germany. From Mexico City. From Birmingham, England. I came from China just for you. That's fantastic. Everybody's excited for Summer Slam. We are so happy to be here. It always like, gives me goosebumps to see that, of like everybody from all the WWE superstars taking over whichever city we happen to be in. And for us to be here back in Brooklyn for SummerSlam, it feels like a million bucks. It feels so huge getting out there, taking over the whole city. You it's know, amazing. One thing I noticed out of all those clips right there, you, you saw nothing but smiles. Yeah. yeah. I always yeah. say with what we do, you have nothing but great memories. SummerSlam coming to town. These guys are going to remember that for the rest of their lives. Uh, you saw in the, in the tape, one of the events was the event I had at Caroline's. Yeah. It's amazing. Not only does everybody from New York come out, but it was people from all over the world. Yeah. But like you said, we're smiling to I see mean, the WWE superstars. You heard the one woman say that she just flew in from China. We have people from all over the world. Everybody is represented here, and I think that just says so much about what WWE is all about. Yeah, and how much WWE superstars give back. Like yeah. People don't realize like there's a lot of travel. SummerSlam, it's a huge event. But as superstars, they give all of their free time, and especially this week. So, so cool. We're carrying on here with the Summer Slam kickoff show. But tonight, it is not all about what's happening here, because we've got our superstars all culminating under one roof. And we can see The Miz walking in with his beautiful wife, Marisa, alongside the little baby, Monroe, getting set for his matchup. Now, this match, ooh, it has been in the making for years. Ever since Daniel Bryan was the rookie under the Miz at NXT many moons ago, there's been so much animosity between these two superstars. And through the trials and tribulations of life's highs and lows, now they finally collide in a match that can only be described as beyond the realms of personal. I feel like we've been doing this forever. And somehow it's still not over. My NXT rookie is Daniel Bryan. Do you think you're ready for the WWE? You're the rookie! I'm the floor! You're nothing! I had so much knowledge to give Daniel Bryan that he just refused to listen to. I was his ticket to the top, championships, fame, fortune. But I came to WWE to be me, and all Miz wanted to do was turn me into him. Do you think this face could ever be on Access Hollywood? Take my star power and put it into you. I realized that I didn't need The Miz, but maybe The Miz needed me. When I step in this ring, there is nobody better than Daniel Bryan! You might as well get on the Daniel Bryan bandwagon. I taught you everything you know. Daniel Bryan has just cast it. He is not a star. He doesn't deserve to be here. The Yes Movement. That's sweeping the world. Daniel Bryan wins the Intercontinental Championship. Daniel Bryan did it. There is your new face of WWE. It is with a heavy heart that I officially announce my retirement. Boo. I knew my style would catch up with me, but I couldn't live with myself if I took shortcuts or was afraid to take a punch like The Miz. There's no gentle way to say it to me, you wrestle like a coward. This is the last title that you held, Daniel. I, I have can't. respect for the title, I just don't have respect for the person holding it. You sit there and call me a coward? Let me tell you about a coward. Why don't you quit and go to the bingo halls? Don't you walk away from me, you're the coward. Why are you here? Like, you can't wrestle anymore. Daniel Bryan can't wrestle anymore, but I can! The Miz is now an eight-time Intercontinental Champion. I'm sick of all of you sitting there criticizing me. I am everything Daniel Bryan is not. Who do you think that they call when they need a spokesperson? A commercial, a movie, a red carpet. The truth is, and always will be, I am superior to Daniel Bryan. You need to fight. You're the coward for your dreams. Coward. Why don't you quit your dreams? That's what Daniel Bryan does. 
He fights for his dreams. Huge news. Former WWE champion Daniel Bryan has been medically cleared for in-ring competition. We didn't even accept reality, Daniel. The Yes Movement is over. The WWE Universe has moved on. Why can't you? Somebody needed to tell Daniel the truth. You know you no longer can hang with me in this ring. I'm not done. I still have something to prove to The Miz. I fought to come back because I couldn't find a way to live without this. That's the difference between you and I. For me, this is about passion, and for you, this is about fame. As much as you pretend that you want to fight me, you just want me and you locked in conflict because you know it furthers your career. After all the talking, after all the taunting, after all the crap between you and me, there's only one thing left for us to do. You want to try to steal my spotlight? Let's get in the ring. I knew your eagle could handle me being in the main event. One on one. It always has to be about Daniel Bryan. At SummerSlam. My nightmare of carrying you for the past eight years will be over. To finally, I shut and better you than you up. I can't believe that we're getting to see this match. I know. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so this match has been building for eight years. Mm -hmm. I was on the original season of NXT with Daniel Bryan and got to see this firsthand. And Bryan and Miz, the pairing was just interesting because Bryan came into NXT already being respected for his in-ring technical skill. The Miz, not so much. And so Bryan got a lot of appreciation by the WWE Universe for this. And I feel like The Miz was more so jealous. Sure. Because this highlighted his insecurities. And just overhearing them talk, it sometimes seemed like The Miz didn't want Bryan to succeed. Whereas the other pros, they give you advice. Right. Our truth was my pro, he taught me so much. <laughs> but I could see this building. So what would a loss for The Miz tonight mean to him? I mean, that would be massively detrimental to somebody who has the ego like Otunga just said. I mean, I would imagine it would be crushing. I remember watching you on that first season of NXT and I remember what the WWE Universe was saying because people like me, we all knew who Daniel Bryan was going into this. And when we found out The Miz was his coach, we were like, to quote The Miz, really? <laughs> the Miz go. is going to coach Daniel there Bryan? Now we're at a point where Daniel Bryan feels that as well. The Miz, and his insecurities have haunted Daniel Bryan for years, including all the years that he couldn't wrestle. And now Daniel Bryan is coming back to do one thing. He told me on my podcast this week, all he wants to do is punch The Miz in the face. He's yeah. been wanting to do that for a long time. I yeah. sat beside him at this actual desk watching him this is the desk? doing it. This is the desk. Dave, the, yeah. David said something there. This thing started, what, eight years ago, seven years yeah, ago? Eight eight years years ago. ago. I, I think it started way before that. You know, the one person I blame for this whole thing is JBL. Uh, wow. You know, okay. wow. JBL was the one guy, you know, back in the day who, who made the Miz, you know, dress out in the hallway, always, you know, uh. ridiculed him, always looked down upon him. And, and despite all that, the Miz came up. He made it. He made it on his own terms. And now he's in that same place. Daniel Bryan, a guy that he could just maul and put down. Uh, you know what? This match right here is going to have a whole lot of implications, you know, at the end of the day. Will Daniel Bryan come out here and win this match? Will the Miz, you know, could Miz working on a lot of emotion? This is a, the match, I think, to watch here at SummerSlam tonight. This is the big match. We got the main event, but this match right here is really the one to watch. It's really crazy when you see how starkly different Daniel Bryan and Miz are, but I mean, essentially, they live very parallel lives right now. Uh, and tonight, it's all gonna unfold here at SummerSlam. I mean, people have been talking about this matchup for weeks, and it's all finally culminating here tonight. JBL. I, I, I. <laughs> We're coming to you live from the Barclays Center as members of the WWE Universe are making their way inside to bear witness to the best sports entertainment has to offer. And I'm talking about the five feet of fury, Alexa Bliss, facing the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey, who's in hot pursuit of her first championship in WWE. We are going to find out how ready Ronda Rousey is tonight. 
one of the world's greatest athletes. She's an Olympian. UFC Hall of Fame. And movie star. A woman who changed the entire sports industry. One of the biggest stars in the world. One of the baddest women on the planet Earth. It's Ronda Rousey's first singles match in WWE, and it is her first championship opportunity in the company. Here's power I can assure you Ronda Rousey's never experienced before. Oh, my God! Ronda may have her opening. And a big knee caught her. The champ stunned. I'm in disbelief right now. Going for the arm bar. Ronda is crying at the champion's arm. We are a fingertip away. Alexa Bliss, Miss Money in the Bank. She's cashing in. She's cashing in. Blesses champion. From this moment on, there's gonna be no more talk of the maddest woman on the planet. It's just about me. I don't like the looks of this. Really, Rhonda? If you ever want a championship opportunity, you better get in the back of the line. You over. Height rookie. <laughs> oh, and Razzie takes down Bliss. Her, get her under control. And Razzie took out the general manager. Razzie assaulting the officials. Razzie's lost it. I'm sorry. You're going to be suspended for 30 days. She has gone berserk. He can suspend me for 30 days. No, no, no. Because after these 30 days, Bliss through a table. I'm gonna be back here kicking her pink hair ass. She's back. Rousey goes after Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship at SummerSlam. I am sick and tired of hearing about Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. I am sick and tired of seeing that dumb look on your face week after week after except his women's champion. Boys, SummerSlam is not gonna be your crowning achievement, Rhonda. SummerSlam is gonna be your utter humiliation. Bliss from behind, Alexa Bliss with a cheap shot. <laughs> Alexa Bliss may be right about one thing, okay? Ronda Rousey is a rookie. She also may be the best rookie in the history of the WWE. And I believe tonight is the night for Ronda Rousey. The suspension only made it worse. She only has her blood boiling that much more. I think it's gonna be a very tall task for Alexa Bliss. How many times is Alexa Bliss gonna be the underdog? I mean, she comes over here, she's not the, the, the number one draft pick. She comes in here, she becomes a multi-time champion. She wins Money in the Bank, she cashes Money in the Bank the very same night and becomes champion again. I mean, Alexa Bliss has been overcoming this again and again and again. Ronda Rousey, it's like she's preordained to be the face of the division for the next 10 years. You're overlooking Alexa Bliss, who has overcome so many obstacles and is used to being the underdog. I think Alexa Bliss has a good chance of walking out of here champion. Now, it, to me, it's not about being preordained or not, John. It's about the fact People also underestimated Ronda Rousey before WrestleMania. No one knew what she was capable of, and she was amazing at WrestleMania. At Money in the Bank, in my opinion, she would have beaten Nia Jax for the, Nia Jax for the championship had Alexa not cost her that. It's, it's, to me, it's not a foregone conclusion. Ronda Rousey's just that good. 
Ronda Rousey is that good. Look, it's a trajectory very similar to Brock Lesnar. When he walked in that first day, I remember looking at him with Kurt Henning going, that guy's going to change the business. And he did. I think Ronda Rousey changes the business. The question is, can she do it tonight? And I think people are overlooking Alexa Bliss. They've done it their, whole, their entire life. I think Alexa Bliss has a good chance walking out of here champion. Well, listen. I totally disagree with you. Love Alexa Bliss. She's been a great champion. You have the, you have the right this time. You have the right to be wrong, Peter. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. We'll talk more about that later. But guess what? We have action coming up here right now on the SummerSlam kickoff show. Thank God I caught you guys. Look, I know last week didn't go how I planned it, but. Tonight, I'll make it up. I've got the perfect song for you guys. I swear, watch, it goes like this. <clears throat> no, 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 no. No, I swear, it's an impeccable song. It'll be perfect. It'll make up for everything. No, tonight is about Rusev Day and Lana Day. So stay behind. Poor Aiden. Oh, well, we welcome you back here to the SummerSlam kickoff show. And it appears no matter what Aiden English tries to do, his best intentions, it seems like it's really starting to sour with Rusev and Lana. You know where the road paved with good intentions leads you, right? Uh, sometimes you leave well enough alone. Aiden English, heed the warning. Stay out of the business tonight of Rusev and Lana, please. Well, we are set for the first action of the night here at the sold-out Barclays Center on the SummerSlam kickoff show. The following contest is a mixed tag team match. Scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the team of Zelina Vega and Andrade Cien Hamas. Set for mixed tag team action. And guys, this is a duo in Zelina Vega, the business manager of Andrade Cien Hamas. They believe they're the future of SmackDown Live. When you make a bold claim like they've done over and over again, the only thing you need to do is back it up inside the ring. And tonight, the SummerSlam kickoff show is brought to you by Mattel's WWE Elite Collection action figures. Make your collection elite. And the... The Barclays Center still filling up here in Brooklyn, New York. About an hour and 20 minutes until the SummerSlam pay-per-view goes live, streaming on the WWE Network. But Byron, this is a big opportunity for both Almas and Vega. Well, if you talk to Vega and Almas, they'll tell you their stock is continually rising here in WWE. And personally, it's hard to argue that point. They've been extremely impressive the last few weeks. Well, and Byron, they've also been extremely lucky thanks to some of the issues going on in Rusev Day's camp. Don't discount their talent because luck falls on their side once in a while. And their opponents, the ravishing Russian Lana and the Bulgarian Bruce. Rusev! Almas and Vega have referred to Rusev Day as a, quote, useless holiday. Almas and Vega are out to end all the fun for Rusev and Lana here tonight. And the look on the Bulgarian brute's face, he's not out here looking for any sort of fun. Well, so you got to consider this. Right? Rusev's been dealing with a lot. I mean, it was, it was a month ago he nearly became WWE champion. Now dealing with all these tumultuous issues within the camp of Rusev Day. That's why it's often important never to mix business with pleasure. You've got business on one side of the ring, you've got a husband and wife on the other. We're gonna see what's gonna reign supreme tonight. So mixed tag team action here. The men must face the men, the women must face the women off of different tags throughout the matchup in Graves. Some people would give the advantage to Rusev and Lana because of their recent experience on Mixed Match Challenge on Facebook Watch. Well, that's a valid point, but at the end of the day, like I said, sometimes it's not right to mix business uh -oh, and pleasure. Uh -oh. Rusev and Lana are gonna have a lot more emotion in their tactics tonight than look at Andrade go. Oh, oh. Tranquilo! The mind games begin. Rusev Day with the emphatic response. And now Rusev once again 
on the hunt here for Andrade Almas, who Look holds back that. inside the ring. What an athlete Almas is. Great planning by Cien. Now tosses Rusev back inside the ring, and Byron, let's not forget the uh, couple of matches between Lana and Selena Vega that broke down because Aiden English was trying to help out, and it cost Lana some, win some wins. Listen, we all know why, though. Ooh. Both Rusev and Lana oh. came up short, but look at Rusev here, hammering away on Almas in the corner. The question is, can you get over that mental hump here tonight? And right now, it looks like Rusev is doing so. Rusev is incredibly fired up. All of his aggression being released on the jaw of Andrade Cien Almas. Sounds to me like Brooklyn just remembered what day it is. Cool. <laughs> Every day is Rusev Day. Off the suplex, the big Bulgarian in command right now of Almas. Well, you can't discount how oh, oh. much of a motivational tool Rusev Day has been for Rusev. Been more aggressive than we've oh, seen. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, oh. oh, right in the face of Rusev. Provides a distraction. And now Almas, oh, shoulder first into the post goes Rusev. A familiar scene from Zelina Vega once again. Pays dividends for Andrade C and Albus. The cold skit stare in Lana's eyes as she glares across the ring at Zelina Vega. Oh, and now look uh -oh. at this. As Rusev all tied up here uh, in the ropes does Almas. Maximize the damage before the referee's count of five. Very effective. Oh, so many weapons, so many tools in the arsenal of Andrade C and Almas. Off a cross arm breaker of sorts tied up in the ropes. Almas is taking control here against Rusev. the world's been talking about. Roman Reigns. Brock Lesnar. Brock is going to put down the big dog and go on to UFC and become a two sport champion. I don't give a crap about the WWE Universe. This is my own. Roman claims he is the uncrowned champion. This time, the story will end with me becoming champion. Who will survive? The big dog, the beast, for the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. And what a night we have in store here tonight on the SummerSlam pay-per-view. But guys, a critical moment here in this mix. Tag oh. team match. Rusev was trying to get to Lana, but Vega took away the option for Rusev. Brilliant strategy. Oh. Ooh. Tornado reverse DDT. Here's a cover and a kick out. Let's take another look back as Lana was ready and able to make the tag to her husband, Ooh. Zelina Vega, sneaking around from the other side of the ring. Her diminutive stature certainly served her well in that point. Yeah, once again, Zelina at the right place at the right time to give the advantage to her team. And earlier on in the match, it was uh, Rusev who went shoulder first into the steel post, courtesy of Andrade Cien Almas. And Almas has done a great job staying on the left arm of Rusev. Almost certainly trying to neutralize the power of Rusev. Oh, man. Uh, out Maybe time. not. Oh, oh man. Talk about the power there. Rusev able to get rid of all oh, wow. of boot. And now Almas going up to the second rope, calling for it again. Oh, Rusev, Rusev trying to fight it off. Rusev oh, oh, man. Andrade Almas off of his own skull. The brute strength of Rusev. Oh. And there goes Almas crashing down hard. It's not pretty, but it was effective. Zelina shot. In the meantime, Rusev. Trying to will his way to his corner again. Well, this is what Vega's been worried about. This is why she tried to take Lana off of the apron. Because now Rusev's got a clear path. Vega has to come in under mixed tag Whoa. team match rules. Lana's been dying for this opportunity, Byron. After all these one-on-one -on -one matchups between these two. Well, Lana was flat out embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> hey, Booker T be proud. Lana was flat out embarrassed Ooh. that she lost to Zelina. Looking for some redemption right here. Double knees right to the back of the neck. Oh! And the ravishing Russian is in command here, guys. Ooh. Sets up for the neck breaker to put away this match. Cover on Vega and a kick out. Smart move by Zelina Vega rolling to the outside. And a lot is the aggressor right after Zelina. Oh! Not allowing for any recovery time here. I don't know if I've ever seen Lana this ruthless. Every time we see Lana in action, just Ooh. seems to get better and better. 
Off the back elbow there now. Wow. Look at the power from Lana. <laughs> oh, into the slam to Vega. Into another cover. Hook to both legs here, and Zelina able to kick out. Notice how Lana has not taken her eyes. Off Zelina. Oh! And face first into the middle turnbuckle. Great move by Vega. Lana forced to pay for the momentary hesitation. The emotion got to be a little too much. What's oh, Vega got in mind? Man. What a kick. I think Lana herself could be seeing shadows shortly. No! Oh, oh. What a kick from Lana. Delita was stopped in her tracks. And Lana wants to close this out, and here's Almas on the apron, providing a distraction. Oh! And, oh, oh, man! the barricade! And now Vega. Vega tried to take control. Oh! Face first goes Zelina. Oh, and again, and again, Almas oh, gets slapped by Lana! Oh, oh, oh look out! Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, Vega! Vega, the cover here! The incredible upwards ascent of Zelina Vega and Andrade Cien Almas continues tonight at SummerSlam. The look on the face of Lana and Rusev tells the story, guys. Another opportunity, another disappointment against Zelina Vega and Andrade Cien Almas. This is where emotion Boom. came to bite Lana and Rusev. I personally feel like Lana should have been disqualified for striking Andrade, but it allowed Selena Vega to capitalize, steal a victory, and make a little history here in Barclays Center. An opportunity for Rusev and Lana to get back on track goes out the window. It's all about Vega and Almas here tonight. Oh, what a way to get the first bit of action started here for SummerSlam. This is a SummerSlam kickoff show. This is phase two, because we've got an extra two hours here tonight on the SummerSlam kickoff show. We're breaking down all things. And now, please welcome, joining us on the panel, a man that I love, having sit across from me here on this desk, WWE Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. Give it up, oh, give it up for him, y'all. Give really it up. Yeah. Oh, give it up for him. Hey, you. I'm a little late to the party, but you know, <laughs> down in Tennessee, we have an old saying. It's party till the cows come home, and then party with the cows. So that's what we're going to do here tonight. <laughs> We've also got on the panel other WWE Hall of Famer, Booker T. Oh! <laughs> look at that look. Ah, uh, there he is right there. Get it good. in. He's looking real good. <laughs> and we've got WWE superstar, film star, action star, great guy, David Otunga. All around star. I don't know about partying with these cows, but <laughs> I would do going it. down tonight, that's for sure. Uh, Book, did you see that spinaroonie that Lana did? Yeah, that, I think that was a big problem. She got dizzy, a little uh, discomplacent <laughs> right there. Never do the spinaroonie. Do not oh try God. that at home, guys. <laughs> right. You, you have to talk coach to her, her after. <laughs> you can get in her private coach. Uh, so the very cool thing about the SummerSlam kickoff show is that for the very first time, we are live in virtual reality. So if you want to go check out that spinaroonie again, you're more than welcome to get lost in all things WWE through virtual reality. So if you're joining us on Next VR and Oculus, Welcome. Now here's the other thing. There's only one place that you're able to see SummerSlam, and that is on the WWE Network, which is absolutely free to new subscribers. And we'll be streaming live at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So head on over to WWEnetwork.com, sign up, because you do not want to miss a second of this. And I'm talking about this gigantic WWE Championship matchup that sees AJ Styles Ooh. defend his WWE Championship against Samoa Joe. Fine. Finally, it's going down. Well, this is like a, a championship match. Money in the Bay contract on the line. Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens. And if Strowman loses in any capacity, Kevin Owens walks away with the Money in the Bank contract. You gotta love it. Well, guys, this one has been smoldering like a volcano for a long time. Tonight, it erupts. Daniel Bryan takes on The Miz, and it's put up for shut-up time. And then the SmackDown Tag Team Championships will be on the line as the New Day will see if the power of positivity and some pancakes are enough to overcome the brute force of the Bludgeon Brothers.
And Ronda Rousey is in hot pursuit of her first championship in WWE. Will she get it done tonight when she stands toe to toe with Alexa Bliss? Triple threat action, guys, for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Carmella faces Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. That match is a match to watch. Well, the ever popular Finn Balor is in Brooklyn to cut his opponent down to size. Unfortunately, his opponent is the sizable constable, Baron Corbin. This is gonna be a fight. Now, how do you neutralize a psycho? Well, by having a lunatic watch your back. <laughs> Seth Rollins looks to reclaim the Intercontinental Championship tonight from Dolph Ziggler, but this time, Rollins will have Dean Ambrose watching his back. And the enigmatic Jeff Hardy looks to regain his United States Championship as he battles the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Talking about a guy that's not in a good mood tonight, the Universal Champion, the beast in corner, Brock Lesnar, takes on the guy, Roman Reigns. Who's going to walk out Universal Champion tonight? So you don't want to miss a second of this. Head on over to WWENetwork.com. Sign up because SummerSlam is absolutely free to all new subscribers to the WWE Network. And we're going to be streaming live at 7 p.m. Eastern time as we are here in a sold out Barclays Center. Oh, Mr. Heyman, Mr. Heyman, uh, real quick, uh, I have a question for you. Uh, two weeks ago on Raw, you gave an emotional interview about the end of your relationship with Brock Lesnar, but then last Monday, you appeared to reunite with Brock in a plot to assault Roman Reigns with pepper spray. So the question is, is what would your comment be to those who are saying that this is all really just an elaborate ruse to hide the fact that Brock is actually very concerned about his match with Roman tonight? Are we live? Yeah, I'm afraid we are. I can't even follow your question. Charlie, we're here in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center to witness history tonight because Brock Lesnar is going to finally get rid of the big dog Roman Reigns. And it is about time that we got rid of the big dog Roman Reigns because Brock Lesnar is prepared to get rid of the big dog Roman Reigns. Brock Lesnar is preparing right now to become the next UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He is going to take Daniel Cormier, take him down, knock him out, or tap him out. But tonight, en route to becoming a two-sport champion, Brock Lesnar is finally going to rid himself of the big dog, Roman Reigns, who just keeps coming back for more and back for more and back for more and back for more. Take him to Suplex City, he comes back for more. F5 Roman Reigns, he comes back for more. Pull Roman Reigns backwards through a cage in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and he comes back for more. Tonight, when my client is done with Roman Reigns, the big dog will not come back for more. Because ladies and gentlemen, and Charlie Caruso too, my name is Paul Heyman, and my client, the reigning, defending, undisputed universal heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar will F5 Roman Reigns pin him one, two, three and successfully defend his title and that's not a prediction. That's a spoiler. That's the question you should have asked me on live TV. <sighs> Sorry, Charlie, I got to say that Paul Heyman is notoriously a tough interview here in WWE, but you know, there, there are several people in this world that I find obnoxious and Paul Heyman is all of them. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's the worst. All he can think about right now is he's run his mouth all over the WWE. All he's thinking about now is going to the UFC and being an advocate for Brock Lesnar and UFC and running his mouth there. I mean, Paul Heyman has a point, man. Paul Heyman has a point. Brock Lesnar has a chance to make history, to defend here tonight, to go on to beat Daniel Cormier, to become the UFC heavyweight champion, to be dual champions in two different sports. That's one of a kind right there. He writes his own ticket from here on out in this world. So I agree with Paul Heyman. This is a huge night for Brock Lesnar.
Certainly it is, but I just feel very odd about the whole Brock Paul situation as it is. I mean, from what we saw last week on Monday Night Raw with the supposed pepper spray in Roman Reigns' eyes, if Brock and Paul are truly going to be on the same page here tonight. Exactly, and I think that shows just how nervous Paul is, but Brock also. They're resorting to anything to stop Roman Reigns, and there's something that Paul said that, that he was talking about Reigns, how he continually comes back. That in and of itself shows how tough Reigns is, why Brock is worried no about doubt. Reigns. He no always doubt. comes he catch back, him tonight. and he gets closer every time. All right, well, we're going to be breaking down that matchup a lot more. The Universal Championship title on the line. So stick with us here tonight on the SummerSlam kickoff show, because we are just getting this party started. Well, I won the Divas Championship against AJ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. at SummerSlam. Yeah. But most importantly, today is the day because this is the first time I get to be general manager on SummerSlam. I'm so excited. Like, just look at the goosebumps on this thing. Mate, wow. I've got goosebumps too. It's my first SummerSlam curtain. I've got them all over my body for yes. this thing. You know what I mean? We'll have to actually <laughs> hand it to you, Paige. SmackDown has an amazing lineup. Thank you. No, no, no. So, Raw 205, we all have an amazing lineup. I mean, Cedric Alexander is defending defending his Cruiserweight Championship against Drew Gulak. Yeah. That's amazing, and yeah. I don't even know who's gonna win. I'm so excited. But you know what? I can't wait to see Ronda Rousey snap Alexa Bliss's <laughs> arm in half. Like, Easy. That, well, all right, so. What about AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe for the WWE oh, Championship? Match. Match. That, that match that is one. gonna be an instant classic. I know because I was in the ring with both of them. Yeah, sure That's have. true. Yeah, very true. Kurt, I'm just stopping by to make sure you're on top of everything tonight. I wouldn't want to get a call from Stephanie. Oh, and did you get Brock Lesnar's private locker room ready? It's all set. But if you're so worried, why don't you go cut Brock's steak for him? Or maybe make sure he has the most updated magazines. Or even better yet, why don't you prepare for your match against Finn Balor? <laughs> prepare? Look, I'll handle Finn in short order. Get it? You know, uh, constables used to be important in England. Not, not anymore, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they used to wash their hands, too. It's not one of England's better ideas. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Can't stand that guy. Chuck. Get in the ring. High-flying, off-the-ropes insanity. Roman Reigns with the spear. Kinshasa. It's multi-man mayhem. Awesome. Dad, isn't my turn yet? It's only been 10 minutes. It's been four hours. WWE figures, rings, championship titles, and masks. Each sold separately. Routine pop fly. Chris Bryant gets underneath. Waves off the shortstop. Yeah, he really popped that one. That is way up there. Yeah, he's got time to hang into this one, so it looks like he's gonna play a little tap sports baseball. Well, I mean, you got a fly ball like this. I mean, you got time. Why not crank a few? Yeah, I, I would too. And uh, Bryant makes the catch. Dominate the league together. MLB Tap Sports Baseball 18. Now play ball! Welcome back to the SummerSlam kickoff show. And guys, it's time for the Cruiserweights to take center stage. Man, the lights couldn't be any brighter. I can't tell you how excited I am. My first SummerSlam, I'm ready to kick this thing off. It's a huge night for the Cruiserweights to be represented here at SummerSlam. And Drew Gulak finally gets his title opportunity against Cedric Alexander. And we are ready for the first of nine title matches tonight at SummerSlam. The following contest scheduled for one fall is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. For two years, Drew Gulak has campaigned for a better 205 Live, but he said he's been planning for tonight his entire life. But guys, it was five nights ago on 205 Live, he had another plan on his mind, and it was during a match with current champion Cedric Alexander, in which he requested. That was something else. Take a look at this dude right here, man. But Cedric Alexander did oh. request this match, and the champ wanted to show the entire world that he was a fighting champion, even when the title wasn't on the line. Well, irrespective of the win, Gulak had a plan, and it was the man with a plan who attempted to enact it. And clearly that plan was to slow down the champ before the big showdown here tonight at SummerSlam. And unfortunately for Alexander, Gulak made the final piece of the plan, the Gulak. 
making Alexander think about it. And if that gulag is cinched in tonight, we will see a new cruiserweight champion. But it's important to note, guys, because of what we just witnessed, 205 Live general manager Drake Maverick made a ruling. The Brian Kendrick, Jack Gallagher are banned from ringside for tonight's championship match. Another smart move, man. Mono e mano. No does outside not, interference. Does not matter. Gulak's ready to the top. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing it in 200 pounds. He is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Cedric Alexander. And Alexander, a superstar, second to none. Alexander has held the Cruiserweight gold proudly since WrestleMania. And Alexander is ready for the test tonight against Drew Gulak. We are less than one hour away from SummerSlam. Crowd still filing into the Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, ready for the biggest party of the summer. But tonight, before this officially gets going, I want to ask you, Nigel, what does Drew Gulak have to do to dethrone Cedric Alexander? Quite simply, stay away from the lumbar check, and to that point, avoid the powerful kicks of Cedric Alexander. Well, we are set, guys, because the course of the cruiserweight division could drastically change tonight in Brooklyn. But Percy will ask you the same question. What does Cedric Alexander have to do to gotta, retain his title? He's got to continue to utilize his speed, use the tools that brought him here. But he's got to be smart. And he's got to stay out of the grasp of Gulak because, you know, he wants to get him down to the mat. Alexander, no stranger to big matches. Here in the WWE, we mentioned WrestleMania, also greatest Royal Rumble defended against Kalisto in Saudi Arabia has defended the title against Tadeo Otami and Buddy Murphy. Absolutely, to your point, Vic, Alexander has created a certain legacy as champion, and it was that pride as a champion who he believes oh, cover. is a fighting champion that got upset when Gulak Hold referred on. to Alexander as the Brock Lesnar of 205 Live. And Gulak with a smile on his face right now. And let's not take anything away from Drew Gulak. He earned this opportunity by defeating Mustafa Ali, Hideo Itami, and TJP in a fatal four-way match. Yeah, he did. That was an impressive victory by Drew Gulak. That earned him this, up, this, this chance right now. But I don't like that, that whole thing about him calling uh, Cedric Alexander the Brock Lesnar of 205. What has Drew Gulak done since winning that fatal four-way? Absolutely nothing. Relaxing. The number one trend in the world right now on Twitter is SummerSlam. This the SummerSlam kickoff show. Cruiserweight Championship on the line. And Drew Gulak right now on top of Alexander. But wait a minute, Alexander trying whoa, whoa. to quicken the pace. Gulak yeah. stepping through. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Gulak in the Gulak. And Alexander sensing a ball. Oh, oh, drop boy. Kick. And Alexander quickly able to escape out of that Gulak. It's by the skin of his teeth. Alexander knew the danger. He felt that five days ago. Oh. He knows. How dangerous the Gulak is. Oh, Drew Gulak just felt that right hand from Cedric Alexander. A nice shot by Cedric Alexander. That's the danger oh. of Drew Gulak, though. It doesn't matter how much offense Cedric Alexander can get in. At any point, Gulak can grab that Gulak and oh. end this match. Well, we've heard from Drew Gulak, but Cedric Alexander, a superstar, is a man of few words, and he lets his actions speak for him. And oh, oh no. Gulak just knocking Alexander out of the ring with a right foot. And look at Drew Gulak's face, the intensity on Gulak now. Gulak. This is a completely different compared to when, where he was a year ago. How dangerous. Oh, and right to, wow. right to the neck of Drew, Drew Gulak, right to the neck of Cedric Alexander. And here's where things started to turn around. Oh, it was the boot from Gulak there. Alexander had a different idea, but no way Gulak would let him. And looking fair up again, where that knee landed to the back of the neck. Why? And this is, of course, what you talk about, Nigel. Oh, just five nights ago, Drew Gulak softening up the champion. Well, it was a match you mentioned, of course, Vic, that Gulak, excuse me, that Alexander requested against Jack Gallagher suffered a degree of neck damage in that match. Who is going to walk out cruiserweight champion here tonight in Brooklyn? Samoa Joe on AJ Styles and the Coquina Clutch. What the hell is happening? It was an ambush. Tick-tock, tip! Tick-tock! Oh, AJ, you've lost focus on what's really dangerous around you. 
Samoa Joe clashes with Styles for the WWE Championship. Can he tear down the house that AJ Styles built? As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. Cruiserweight Championship on the line. The challenger, Drew Gulak, who is the self-proclaimed best submission specialist in the WWE, is certainly softening up current champion, Cedric Alexander. Now, you remember after that match with Jack Gallagher that Cedric Alexander oh. had, Jack Gallagher was pinpointing the neck, but Drew Gulak ambushed the champion and hit him with the Gulak, even creating more damage. And Drew Gulak has been in control of this Cruiserweight Championship match, and he has said that he feels 205 Live has suffered with Alexander as champion. Stated that a few weeks ago on 205 Live as Gulak into the cover, title on the line, and a champion kicks out at two. Gulak has also stated he's the only superstar worthy to hold that title. Certainly Cedric Alexander would disagree with that statement, but unless Alexander can, can defend against the Gulak, and to do that, Alexander has to be able to tuck his chin, and to do that, he needs his neck muscles, which... Oh, oh stretched right now by Drew Gulak. Is the Cruiserweight Champion going to submit? Alexander is in the center of the ring. Championship is on the line. This is trouble right here for Cedric Alexander. Completely off his feet, all the strain on his neck. He may have to tap. A version of the gory especial. This is just how brutal and dangerous Drew Gulak has made himself over the last year. And Alexander desperately trying to wiggle free, trying to break the grasp of Drew Gulak. Well, Alexander has his legs free, which enables Alexander one way out. Oh. That's the way. And there is the way, Nigel, on a forearm from Alexander. And now again, the champion rally, his cruiserweight title on the line. Alexander is stunned, though. Oh. Drew Gulak has stayed on top of Alexander. And now, oh, charging in. But Alexander went for this before, and oh, it's a flatliner. Look but at Alexander landing on the back of his neck. He couldn't even follow up from that offensive maneuver, which means that potentially Drew Gulak can get back on the offense. But we know, Percy, nothing will keep Cedric Alexander down. But he is a true champion, and that's what it's all about. But he has never faced a competitor like Drew Gulak, submission-based specialist, oh. ground-based game. Oh! oh. What an uppercut from Alexander. Alexander weathered the storm early on, and now trying again to rally in this matchup. Alexander's cruiserweight title is on the line, and Alexander catching Gulak, and look at the champion unleash a fury. Alexander is as aggressive as I've seen Gotta turn him. it loose just like that. That's what he needs to do against a competitor like Drew Gulak. You think perhaps he's more focused on getting retribution for last Tuesday than defending that title? Oh! That could be a mistake. He may very, that may very well be true, but he can't get lost in his emotions. He's got to stay focused on what's happening right here. Oh, and, and Drew Gulak, look at the wise man. Oh, maybe it wasn't that wise, Nigel. Hold on, oh, oh! champion! This is what 205 Live is all about. The best in the world under 205 pounds, and there is the very best in the world, Cedric Alexander, pinpoint precision, but with a damaged oh. neck when he crashed into the mat on the outside. More damage done, potentially. Well, you can still see Cedric Alexander favoring his neck, was even trying to shake free his left arm. How much damage has been taken out of Alexander? Certainly a fair bit. He certainly was not 100% recuperated from last Tuesday. Pain shooting down the Referee is up to left six. arm of Alexander now. And Alexander, what must be on the champion's mind? As Alexander, oh! And the challenger now, firing back! And a little separation for Alexander between he and Gulak. That's what I said Gulak needed to avoid. But, oh, no! no! The champion down over the top turnbuckle. Yeah. Alexander is in trouble. What incredible trouble ring awareness. Champ. And now Drew Gulak locking in the Gulak. No, no, no! The yeah. Gulak oh. it. but it's locked in the ropes. Ah. Gulak's got five ah. seconds to break the hold or Drew Gulak's gonna be disqualified. He's not gonna get a submission victory, but what he will do is more damage to the neck Extra damage with the top rope to the back of the neck, more leverage. And that just goes to speak to the intelligence of Drew Gulak, but look at the condition that Cedric Alexander is in right now. Gulak into the cover, hooks the leg, cruiserweight title on the line. Do we have a new 
champion in Alexander, kicking out at two and a half. Alexander almost spent at this point. Yeah. Seriously fatigued. No, 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 Gulak. Come Again, on. trying to lock in the Gulak. Center of the ring. Can he hook it in all the way? Alexander continuing to fight. Has both ah. hands up, oh. trying to figure yeah. out a way to Locking navigate it. his way free. And now Gulak. Oh. Gulak yeah. trying to drive with his hips. Yeah. Oh, trying to just drop to his back. Yeah. Trying to turn Alexander. Here. Alexander. Oh, oh. oh there's the back elbow. Cedric Alexander has been awfully close to being locked into the gulag. But this is the heart of the Cruiserweight Champion. And close don't count, but Cedric Alexander needs to find a way to somehow put an end to Drew Gulak. He's got to get back on top, quick. Well, here it was. Wham! The impact of the back elbow. Gulak goes down hard, but Alexander unable to capitalize. And look at the eyes of the champion now. Boom. As both champion and challenger slugging it out. Center of the ring here in Brooklyn. The quickness of the champ. Gulak missing wildly. Not oh, missing. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh my lord. Alexander is rocked. And now Drew Gulak trying to pick up the scraps of the cruiserweight champion. Going in. Oh, oh, oh. Gulak. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Title on the line, Alexander rolling free. Now Alexander shifting his momentum, another near fall in this matchup as Gulak trying to, trying to bridge down, trying to slide down Alexander. Alexander coming free, looking for no. the paralyzer. Caught into the ankle lock. Gulak. Ankle lock by Gulak. Is Alexander going to take? Rolls through, shoulders Come down. On. Title on the line at Gulak out at two. And it's Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Oh. Oh, Gulak rolls into the cover. And then, no, another oh, near fall. Incredible How close awareness was that? And Gulak. now Gulak, roll it through, sits down, kick out. Look Alexander! Oh, that! Oh, I got him! <laughs> Did he get off? Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Cedric Alexander! What a match! That was absolutely unbelievable. I cannot believe that's how this thing ended. The back and forth between two phenomenal competitors. But at the end of the day, Cedric Alexander retains his Cruiserweight Championship. And the legacy of Cedric Alexander continues to grow right here at SummerSlam. But right now, it's time to send things back up to Renee Young. What an unbelievable showing from the Cruiserweights. They just tore it down here at the Barclays Center. Gulek, unbelievable for Cedric Gulek, Alexander retains. Who like have a game play? Oh my God. I mean, it just did not, didn't have enough. Got to go back to the wild. drawing board. But a hell of a match right there. Oh. I'm glad I didn't have to commentate on that because <laughs> those guys fight faster than I talk. They were all over the place. Keep your eyes on, right? <laughs> A lot of back well, and forth. This is not it for our panel here tonight on the SummerSlam kickoff show because this is the biggest event in the summer. I mean, we're doing things big here all night long. We're breaking down all of our matches, and you can just feel the energy start to make a switch here as the Barclays Center, which is set to be sold out tonight, yeah, yeah. getting set for all of the action. I'm looking around. Slam. I'm looking at the people. Yep. Here. Just here. Everybody coming alive right now. King, I didn't get to talk to you at the beginning of the show, but what matchup are you looking most forward to tonight? Well, it's got to be Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. I'm, you know, the whole world is talking about that. I've, I've been, I've just been focused on that yeah. match. I, I can't wait. It's unbelievable, and I think another big one, of course, is Ronda Rousey to see what she's oh, yes. out here tonight. Most but definitely. of course, so much more of that to come here tonight on the kickoff show. But as I was saying, this is not it for our broadcast team tonight. Right now, we're going to take things on down to JBL and Peter Rosenberg. How about that? <laughs> that? That match right there made me a fan of this business all over again. I felt like I was a kid watching those matches at the Sportatorium back in Texas. That's why I love the business. Now, it's been an incredible weekend so far. You look at what Gargano and Champa did here last night in this building. Now what we get from the cruiserweights. But there's a match that I'm very, very excited about, JBL. And that would be the triple threat for the SmackDown Women's Championship. To me, look, it's all about momentum. And, and Becky Lynch, to me, has momentum. I hated being in triple threats when I, when I was a champion. You don't have to be involved in the finish to lose the title. Carmelo's at a, at a huge disadvantage here. I don't think best friends are. It's Machiavellian. They are going to go tooth and nail to try to become champion. 
I think that to me, it's about momentum, and Becky Lynch has momentum. For a wrestling god, you get a lot of things wrong. Here's why I disagree with you, okay? <laughs> I was worried about Carmella when she just had to deal with this hungry Becky Lynch. I actually think she catches a break with Charlotte Flair being involved, because now, they're not going to be best friends anymore. They're going to be going for each I other's I agree with that completely. So that could, that could work to the champion's advantage. I think it could work to the champion's advantage. Look, I don't think you can underestimate Carmella. There's something about survivorship. You, you survive. People that survive find a way to continue to survive. That's Carmella. I think she has, uh, to me, a terrific chance of walking out of here, much better than 33% uh, that you would think from a triple threat match. But I think Becky Lynch with the momentum, I think Becky Lynch is, to me, the betting favorite. We are going to be live in just over 43 minutes for SummerSlam, and there is so much to get to tonight. But, uh, listen, I'm in New York. I work in New York. This is where I make my home. I, I, I end up pulling for Carmella. She represents Staten Island just over the ferry. Hey, the, the Yankees bat 30 percentage points higher at home. There's a reason that people do better at home. She is the hometown champion. She has home field advantage here. I think people are going to respond to her, and I think that does play into it. Yeah, I'm very, very excited to I see what we get. I just think you're wrong about who wins. You but it's okay to be wrong. Yeah, I know. We just do me a favor. Don't get us fired tonight, please. All right. <laughs> hey, a big thank you going out to AJR for Burn the House Down, an official theme song of WWE SummerSlam, available now on iTunes and Spotify. And ladies and gentlemen, this place is sold out. The Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York for SummerSlam 2018. The WWE Universe filing in right now and in front usual, of us. the biggest party of the summer. It is absolutely electric in here. I absolutely cannot wait. And now, talk about a match that everyone's talking about. AJ Styles and Samoa Joe for the WWE Championship. This is SmackDown Live, the house that AJ Styles built. Straight to the top, I'm taking it, taking it. Just for the record, I'm breaking it, breaking it. I did it when they said that it can't be done. So we we'll number one, we can't be done. I'm proud to defend the most prestigious championship in the world at the biggest event of the summer, SummerSlam. All I need is my opponent, Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe put the WWE Champion to sleep! Samoa Joe just signed his name on the SummerSlam contract. AJ Styles. You put everything behind being champion. In fact, you put being champion in front of being a member of your own family. AJ, I've known you a long time, and I know the truth. You feel much more comfortable being on the road than you ever have being a husband to your wife. You're a failure as a father. SummerSlam! Your family, they'll be cheering for me. After I'm done putting you to sleep, your wife and kids, they'll have their daddy back. But I will be WWE. Champion. Samoa Joe doing everything possible to get in the mind of AJ Styles. Samoa Joe, over a decade of friendship, you threw it all away when you talked about my family. I want to be one of the greatest WWE superstars for my family. I got home where I could hug my kids, hug my wife, and as I was holding Wendy, she said, we support you and we appreciate everything you're doing. At SummerSlam, Joe, you're not walking out the WWE Champion. You'll be lucky to walk out at all, period. Here in my hand, I hold a letter from a member of the WWE Universe. Dear Joe, the things that you said about AJ Styles and his family made me physically ill. Not because they were wrong, but because they were true. It's clear AJ never wanted children. Maybe he never wanted a wife either. At 
SummerSlam. I pray that you win so AJ can know the feeling of losing the thing he loves the most because I lost him a long time ago. My sincerest gratitude, Wendy Styles. Failure as a father. Your family, they'll be cheering for me. Some incredibly cutting words heading into this matchup. Uh, but now, please welcome onto the SummerSlam kickoff panel the challenger to the WWE Championship, Samoa Joe. Joe, thank you for taking the time to join us here tonight. Oh, thank you, Renee. It's always good to be here. And by the way, congratulations on once again becoming a two-income household. I know you've been doing extra work around here to make up the windfall, but man, it's great to see you guys back strong again. Thank you so much. Um, always insightful to hear from you. But um, are you at all concerned that maybe you have gone a little too far with AJ Styles and made this too personal between the two of you? Well, Renee, what stands before you is a man in full control of every action and every calculated move that he has made. What you see before you, that's not an AJ Styles who is blinded by rage. No, that's an AJ Styles that's racked with guilt. Do I feel retaliation? I do not fear retaliation because I have AJ Styles just where I want him. Hey. And trust me, every word that I said, it is wrong true. Because if it hasn't, why is AJ Styles so mad? Why is he upset? If my words do not have any merit, why is AJ Styles running around trying to get at me acting like a crazed maniac? Hey, because hey, all I do is spit the truth. Hey, hey Joe, this is uh, Booker T. Yeah. Um, I've had the pleasure of being in the ring with yourself as well as AJ Styles. You know, what, what do you think your biggest advantage is tonight at SummerSlam? I'll tell you right now, I have him mentally broken, Booker. You know that, you know how this game works, and you know how I work. I'm in AJ Styles' head. He is not acting like a phenomenal champion. Oh, no, no, no. AJ Styles is acting like a phenomenal victim, and tonight, we take advantage of that. Hey, uh, Joe, this is uh, the king. There's an old saying, happy wife, happy life. Do you not think that AJ needs to win this one for Wendy? Oh. AJ Styles absolutely needs to win this for Wendy, just like he's won everyone in the past for Wendy. Or has he, King? That's the question that I bring to the fore. Has AJ Styles really all done this for his family, or is he the egomaniac that I know he is and will expose him as tonight? Hey, Joe, this is David Otunga. Now, while I appreciate the head games you're playing with, AJ, my question is, what are his biggest weapons towards you, his biggest threat? You know, it's no, it's, it's no surprise, it's no secret. AJ Styles is a fantastically explosive and dynamic athlete. But rest assured, every time he's brought that explosiveness into the ring with me, I've blunted it, I've put him on the ground, and I've put him out. He's won championships wherever he has gone, and then I have showed up and taken them from him. And tonight at SummerSlam, I guarantee you, it'll be no different. Hey, Joe, uh, last question here. You know. What would you say, you know, just say it to the camera, what would you, what, what advice would you give to AJ Styles tonight coming into this match? AJ, tonight provides you with a very, very unique opportunity. There are wrongs and there are transgressions in your life, and all you need to do is allow me to correct them. All you need to do is step in that ring and know that I'm coming for my championship. You can hand it to me, or I can rip it out of your unconscious hands. One way or another, AJ, the best advice I can give to you tonight is have a pillow ready in the back, because I'm putting you to sleep. Baby! I Unbelievable. Like uh, I mean, he always just has the most cutting words. So to imagine what's going to happen tonight in the ring while he's in pursuit of the WWE Championship. But now with uh, some more insight on that, let's hear from JBL and Peter Rosenberg. Uh, I'll tell you what, Samoa Joe is uh, a dangerous man. He's a very smart man. Yes. And he's a man who knows AJ Styles extremely well. That's what makes, as a fan, this match so exciting. This never had to happen on this stage, and it is happening. 
Now, you have a special interest in this match, though, because AJ Styles just broke your record as the longest reigning champion in SmackDown history. Yeah, and congratulations to AJ Styles. It couldn't be broken by a better champion. You know, in my generation, Shawn Michaels was by far the best performer, maybe the greatest performer of all time. AJ Styles is this generation's Shawn Michaels. He is simply that good. Uh, he doesn't have a bad match. He goes out, he steals a show. Last two SummerSlams, he's defeated John Cena. He's defeated Kevin Owens. He is amazing, phenomenal, to steal a word on the big stage and to me AJ Styles this match is going to steal the show tonight I don't have any doubt about that I think AJ Styles finds a way to win despite these head games I, I love AJ Styles I don't think there's anyone better in the world in this craft than AJ Styles but I'll tell you what don't forget how meaningful this is for Samoa Joe Samoa Joe's had to miss WrestleMania before because of injury Samoa Joe's had a tough road since he's gotten to WWE and that's why he's using everything in his bag of tricks to try to get under this guy's skin and the dangerous part is he knows AJ Styles so well and he's defeated him before he has the fuel to do it again that's the scary part for AJ Styles and now I get the great honor to throw to my buddies Michael Cole Corey Graves and my golfing buddy the coach take it away guys so glad to uh, have JBL back. He hasn't lost a step. Hey guys, we're ready for some action now from Monday Night Raw. We're going to be sold out tonight. Over 16,000 expected at Barclays Center for SummerSlam. And I know you guys are ready. I've been fired up all week, all week long. We started on Thursday night and keeps going. Coach, welcome back. Thank you very much. W were you waiting for me to do that? Well, <laughs> that was nice of you. Well, I tell you what, you never know what can happen at a SummerSlam. Just ask Shane McMahon. But these boys right here, they feel like this is their time. This is their moment. This is their night. The following contest is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 446 pounds, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder, the Revival. The Revival hoping to win the Raw Tag Team titles here tonight on the SummerSlam kickoff show. And WWE SummerSlam is presented by Cricket Wireless. Get four lines of unlimited data for $100 a month with the unlimited plan from Cricket. And by MLB Tap Sports Baseball 2018. Download the mobile game, play as your favorite team, and climb the MLB ranks. Go dominate the league together. No, not this again. Their opponents, they are the Raw Tag Team Champions, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas, the B Team. You know, guys, this past Monday night on Raw, the B Team had their first title defense since winning the tag team titles back at Extreme Rules in July. The B Team in a triple threat match pinned Bray Wyatt after the Revival hit a shatter machine, and the B Team took advantage. It's just a matter of time before we witness the Cinderella story of the B Team come to a screeching halt. I happen to be of the belief that that happens tonight. You know, it doesn't really matter how you win, gentlemen. They've done that. It doesn't matter that you win. They've done that. But I believe on a night like tonight, it matters where you win. And to put a notch in their belt at defending their tag team title, that SummerSlam, well, that's going to take their already rising confidence to a whole new level. This past Monday on Raw, the B team, the first team in two years to successfully defend the tag team titles in a triple threat match. Meanwhile, Scott Dawson sent out a tweet uh, earlier in the week, said, we've won the big one before in Brooklyn. That, of course, uh, their tag title defense, Corey, at NXT TakeOver number two in Brooklyn. Absolutely unforgettable night for the Revival and everyone that witnessed that incredible match. I have a feeling they're gonna add to their already impressive resume tonight. Yeah, you know, I tried to stop in the hallway today and get a quote, get some information. They are so laser focused, guys, on what they have to do tonight. They didn't want to talk to anybody. So it's Dawson and uh, Bo Dallas starting things off for the Raw Tag Team titles. Dash Wilder of the Revival calls this the, quote, biggest match of their team's career. This is what we're made for, winning tag team gold. On the other side of the coin, you have to realize that the B team realizes that this is the biggest match of their career. Well, Corey, the stage matters, and I think they understand tag. that. The Miz taught them that. Tag was made, Wilder in a, oh, there's a nice dragon oh. screw. Tear Bo Dallas's oh. knee apart. And then uh, Dash Wilder just uh, 
Shoving Axel off the apron as the official was checking oh, with oh, Shatter Machine. Oh, just like that, the revival with a Shatter Machine to Axel. Dallas is hurt. Now keep in mind, he's not the legal man. Eric Curtis Axel, luckily for their team, is not legal. But now, Bo Dallas is a sitting duck. This could essentially become a handicap match for Dawson and Wilder. Yeah, off the uh, dragon screw, Bo Dallas injuring his leg, but now trying to fight out of the corner. Corey, a handicap match with a one-legged wrestler to boot. And here we go now, Dawson top rope, double team again. Oh, oh beautiful. Revival off the missile drop kick. Here's the cover. Is it enough to put him away and a kick out at two? Revival trying to win the tag team gold. And again, a kick out by Dallas. If this Third time for Dawson. Third time hooks the leg. And again, Dallas kicks out. We are less than 30 minutes to go until SummerSlam as the kickoff show continues. And this is where Dawson and Wilder excel. Isolate a body part and destroy it. Bo Dallas is in a world of trouble right now. If this match continues this way, it's going to be a very, very short night for the B team and a very celebratory night for the Revival. Scott Dawson continues to work the injured leg of Bo Dallas, looking to win the tag team titles. Ronda Rousey has not forgotten what Alexa Bliss did to her in her championship opportunity in Money in the Bank. Yeah. Rousey is not supposed to be here. What is she doing? Clearly, you don't understand the difference between USC and WWE. You overhyped rookie. Your match with Alexa Bliss will be for the Raw Women's Championship at SummerSlam. Ronda is ecstatic. Bliss is livid. That look in Ronda's eyes is never good. Oh my God! And a roundhouse kick it on the rights and lefts. Rousey is ready for Sunday. As always, WWE Network is free for new subscribers. And the Revival obviously ready for tonight. They have been dominating the B team since the bell started this match for the Raw Tag Team titles. Curtis Axel has been an absolute non-factor after suffering a shatter machine. And, oh my goodness. I mean, this is an absolute clinic by a team that loves to call themselves guys, the best team on the planet. And right now, they're showing everybody here in Brooklyn exactly why they believe they are just that. The Dragon. Screw to the leg of Bo Dallas has put the Revival in control. The B team has yet to be beaten since they were formed as the B team after The Miz was uh, drafted over to uh, SmackDown back during the uh, Superstar shakeup. I have to believe that this was the plan from the very beginning by the Revival to make this essentially a handicap match. It's been the Revival's MO throughout their career. Isolate one of the opponents, and that's what they're doing here to Bo Dallas. Spinning toe hold from oh, oh, Dawson. The shoulder. Shoulder oh, first into the post. Roll up by Dallas. Kick out at two. Wow. The Cinderella run of B team almost continued yes. there. And finally, Curtis Axel trying to pull himself back up onto the apron after suffering the shatter machine early in the matchup. Wilder drives him back to the floor again. Dallas with no one to tag. Yeah, when you talk about game plans, this is about as good as a game plan, gentlemen, as you could ever have. Eliminate one, isolate the other. Double team again. Literally what the Revival has done their entire Oh, oh and a knee right to no the one jaw does it of better. Dallas. Cover. Is it enough to win the tag? Gold and a kick out. Dallas survives again. See the frustration beginning to build on the face of Scott Dawson. Well, Corey, they understand that if they don't get the job done tonight, you never know. You never know when you're going to get another opportunity at Tag Team Gold. The reason the Revival have this match tonight is because they were not the team pinned in the triple threat. Uh, where's your partner? This past Monday night. And again, Axel not even able to make it his way back up to the apron before assaults by the Revival. I love watching the Revival do this. It's almost like they're in cruise control right now. He's done. Everything is going their way. This could end really badly for Dallas. Whoa. Oh, wait a second. Well, Bo Dallas oh. with a neck breaker from the top rope. Again, creates an opening. But there is no partner to tag. Talking trash is normally not the Revival's M.O. They're doing that tonight. Maybe that's a mistake. Axel finally makes his way back up to the apron, in position to tag. Bo Dallas crawling toward his partner, tag made. Axel legal, so Dawson. 
Got to wonder what Axel's working with right now after suffering the shatter machine and then being unceremoniously deposited to the outside again. Well, he's got to be in better shape than his partner. Off the snap mare, and then oh. the neck breaker this time by Axel. Oh! Kick right to the midsection. Great awareness. Wilder got caught. Scott Dawson from behind. O'Connor roll. And a kick out at two. Axel, nice reversal. Kick again to the midsection. Looking for a perfect plex, perhaps. Dallas clobbers Wilder. Roll up, roll up here by Dawson. We're going to have new champions. Ball up. Oh, it was reversed. Oh, Michael's no, reversed. No. Are you kidding me? Did that just happen? Here are your winners, and still the Raw Tag Team Champions, the B Team. The B Team escapes to the titles again? I have never seen dumb luck like this as long as I've watched sports entertainment. And somebody's going to have to tell the revival exactly what happened because from the look on their faces, they have no idea. Scott Dawson, I just want you to watch this. This is incredible. Watch Dawson. There's one, two, three, four. Dallas just falls out of his partner, reverses the pile, and the B team retain the title. That is a great description by Corey. Dumb luck. Got the B team yeah. at victory at SummerSlam here tonight. Either that or divine intervention. I still can't believe it. The B team are still the Raw Tag Team Champions. B team, B team, go, go, go. I mean, these guys are the real deal. Man, these are the two luckiest uh, dudes I've ever seen. I, I, I got to tell you, David, sometimes in this business, you got to have a little luck. Am I right, Keith? It's better to be lucky than good. You're calling it <laughs> luck, book? Hey, sometimes, I, that's exactly what it was. Come on. Come on, these guys have been able Look to here. prove themselves Look week here. after you week. You cannot strategize something like that. You cannot yeah. plan something <laughs> like what we no. just saw. Come on. Come on. I mean, you're, you're the king of the tag division. You know what it can be like out there. Sometimes those you streets. slip on a banana peel straight to the pay window. <laughs> yeah, right there. You <laughs> slip right into the wind. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, well, for you guys at home, there's only one place that you're going to be able to see SummerSlam, and that is on the WWE Network. So head on over to WWE Network.com. Sign up because SummerSlam is absolutely free to all new subscribers, and we're going to be streaming live at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And with that, we have got this WWE Championship matchup where we get to see AJ Styles defend the house that he built against Samoa Joe. Can he hold on to his championship? We find out tonight. It's all for the Money in the Bank contract. Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens. And if Braun Strowman loses in any capacity, Kevin Owens walks away with the contract. Well, guys, if you can win matches with your mouth, Miz would be undefeated. But Daniel Bryan plans to silence the awesome one once and for all tonight. And the SmackDown Tag Team Championship will be on the line as the New Day will see if the power of positivity and some pancakes are enough to overcome the brute force of the Bludgeon Brothers. And Ronda Rousey, the baddest woman on the planet, is here to earn her first championship in WWE. But is she going to get it done here at the Barclays Center? She goes toe to toe with Alexa Bliss. Triple threat match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Carmella defends against Charlotte Flair. She defends against Becky Lynch. Will she walk away and steal? champion tonight. Well, guys, Constable Baron Corbin says that size does matter, and he plans to use his size and strength to put down Finn Balor. We'll find out. And how do you neutralize a psycho? By bringing in a lunatic, of course. So Seth Rollins will try to reclaim the Intercontinental Championship from Dolph Ziggler tonight, but this time, Rollins will have Dean Ambrose watching his back. And the enigmatic Jeff Hardy looks to regain his United States Championship as he battles the artist, the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Truly a main event anywhere in the world, guys. The mm -hmm. Universal Championship will be on the line as Brock Lesnar defends against the guy, Roman Reigns, who walks away Universal Champion tonight. So you guys know what to do. You see what is ahead of us here tonight at the biggest 
event of the summer, head on over to WWENetwork.com. Sign up because SummerSlam is absolutely free to all new subscribers. We're going to be streaming live at 7 p.m. Eastern here tonight. And man, things are just getting started here at the Barclays Center. We're going to be sold out tonight. The clock is ticking down less than 20 minutes from SummerSlam streaming live on the WWE Network. The house is packed here tonight for the biggest party in the summer and one woman that is here looking to walk out of New York with her very first championship in WWE. This woman right here, Ronda Rousey, looks focused. She looks ready because tonight we find out if she can become the Raw Women's Champion. Now we got Alexa hey, like Bliss that. making her way in here. I was just curious. I wanted to ask you about your match with Ronda Rousey. I'm not talking to you. I, I know you're busy, but this is undoubtedly the biggest match of the career. So, biggest match. what part of "I'm not talking" do you not understand? Now, get out of my face. Wow. Man, oh man! Alexa Bliss looks like she's uh, shaking in her boots a little bit tonight, huh? You know, that looked like uh, somebody that was focused to me, ready to come out here and take the task and take it by the horns and go out there and defend the championship. That's what it looked like. To That's me. not what it looked like to me. It looked what? like she was shook. Yeah, she was shook it. Yeah, shook it. Look, shook I, it. I don't know how many times you walked in the in the building and you're champion. You got to be focused. You got to be have your 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 eye on the prize. And I think that's exactly what Alexa Bliss looked like to me. She's ready. She's focused. So okay. Alexa Bliss can be as focused as she needs to be, but how much more pressure is on Ronda Rousey coming into this? Is there much pressure on Alexa, or is it all shifted to Ronda to see you know, exactly what she can let me, do? Let me just say this. I, I think it's a whole lot of pressure on Ronda Rousey because first time going in in a championship match of this magnitude in, in, in this arena. Mm -hmm. You know, here, here, in, here in Brooklyn, this is going to be a big night for her. If she goes out and, and lose and flops, fall on her face, it's going to be egg, man. It's going to be egg, and it's going to be headlines tomorrow, first and foremost. So, Ronda, the pressure, it's more pressure on Ronda, in my estimation. You're, you're exactly right. She cannot afford to lose this match. You know, Ronda Rousey's been in so many high-pressure situations in UFC. She's been them here in WWE. But now to have this singles matchup for the Raw Women's Championship here at Barclays in front of this crowd, I mean, you bring up a good point, Booker, of how much, how much does that shake you? You walk out of that curtain, and you feel that, that focus on you. You know, I heard Ronda Rousey, she, she did an interview on, on, on one of the morning shows, and she was talking about the difference between going into a UFC fight and going into a WWE fight. And she said it, it's a vast difference. Me, personally, I disagree. You know, she said she don't have a whole lot of butterflies going into a match like this. I think when you lose those butterflies, you lose a lot of your edge. I think Ronda Rousey thinks th this is going to be a, a walkthrough. I think she thinks she's going to be champion here in the WWE for a long time. I think tonight she could get a rude awakening. So you think she's taking Alexa too lightly? Rousey is. Uh, of course. No, I think uh, it's the power of positivity. I think she knows what's going to happen tonight in her mind, and she's going to make it happen when she gets in that ring. Listen, I mean, she's got that arm bar. We all know how dangerous that can be for her out Ooh. here. But Alexa Bliss is so smart and clever and conniving, and we've seen her, that from her time and time again. I mean, you think she's coming out here unprepared without another little something something up her yeah. sleeve? No, There's she's no definitely way. she's definitely got to have a game plan. And I mean, that's the thing. That's why Ronda can appear extremely confident. She thrives under pressure and in situations like this. I mean, go back to WrestleMania. It was her first match. She looked amazing. Yep. She looked amazing. She, she really does. She knows if she's this confident, it's because she's put in the work. Yeah, yeah. That's where confidence stems from. If you've already done your homework, you've put in the work, then you just go out there and execute. She's an unbelievable athlete. Nobody could deny that. But what do you guys think of the comparison that's constantly drawn between uh, Ronda Rousey and Brock Lesnar? You know, uh, it's a fair comparison. I mean, Brock Lesnar, he made a huge splash when he went over to the UFC and, you know, upset Frank Mir, a guy that's done it all uh, in the UFC. And Ronda Rousey, she's here now. She has a chance to go out here and do the exact yep. same thing right. here in the WWE. Go out there and cash in and show the world how good she really is. But like I say, the pressure, the pre it's, like, it's like a pressure cooker, man. And too much pressure, it busts pipe. We well, know that. I, 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 it can also make diamonds. Yes, oh, too. I like that, That's Otunga. Well, true. in less than 15 minutes, we're going to find out exactly what happens because we are going to be live here with SummerSlam. But as we go from the Raw Women's Championship and move things on over here to the Universal title and some of the most insane buildup and question marks 
Will tonight be the night that the big dog gets it done against the beast? Will we see the crowning of a new universal champion? We find out when Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar collide at SummerSlam. Leave this place better than I found it. I'm never gonna be able to accomplish that goal with Brock Lesnar here. I'm sick of hearing about him. I'm sick of talking about him. I'm sick of looking at him. So it ends at SummerSlam. Roman, 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 when will you ever learn? History is written by the victors, and you have never defeated the Beast. At WrestleMania, you failed. Lesnar will stop at nothing to vanquish Roman Reigns. Brock Lesnar is still Universal Champion. And one month later, in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, you failed again. Roman's locked and loaded and ready to strike. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! You can talk all you want. I walked out of that desert as the true Universal Champion. Roman Reigns feet clearly touching the floor before Lesnar's. The plain and simple fact is the Beast was once again declared victorious. And to the victor goes the spoils. There's no leader when you have a champion like Brock Lesnar. I don't give a crap about the WWE Universe. I'd much rather be at home on my couch in my house. Brock Lesnar is an entitled piece of crap who hides behind his contract. So if Brock Lesnar wants to become a two-sport champion, he will. And Brock just shows up whenever he wants to when the money's right or the city's right. If Brock Lesnar doesn't feel like appearing on Raw, he won't. Brock Lesnar has to be the worst Universal Champion of all time! Do you got a problem with me? Oh my God, Lesnar with an F5 to our general manager! It has to end. Brock Lesnar only cares about Brock Lesnar. Lesnar physically assaulting his own advocate. It seemed to be a falling out. With Paul Heyman in your corner, you, sir, will beat Brock Lesnar and become the universal champion. My father taught me a lot of stuff. He taught me how to swim with sharks in this business. And you're just not worth saving. You know what your father taught me? Falafi tu, Manu, Malo. What the hell is Heyman doing? He's blind in rates. I guess I'm gonna have to say this one more time just to get it through that thick skull of yours. When will you learn? It was all a ruse from Paul Heyman in conjunction with Brock Lesnar. So please save your speeches, Roman. Buck can knock me down repeatedly, but I keep getting up because I have to win. You won't win. You can't win. They cowardly attack. That SummerSlam, Barack Lutzner will brutalize you. Yet again, big dog.
Well, here we are again. Yes, we are. Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar for that coveted Universal Championship. And I want to ask you about something Roman talked about. He talks about a lot. And that is Brock Lesnar not being here, not showing up every week. Do you believe that there is resentment for Brock Lesnar because of that? Because that clearly impacts the way Roman Reigns looks at this match. No, I believe there's a resentment that Brock Lesnar is so dominant. I think Roman Reigns, he has a personal issue with that. I, I don't about, doubt the veracity of that at all. But I think the problem with Brock Lesnar, and as far as the dressing room, is he's that dominant. This is the single most important night of Roman Reigns' life. Period. Stop right there. This is his career tonight. Now, Roman Reigns is one of the best athletes I've ever seen. If Roman Reigns, if not for Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns would be an unstoppable universal champion. It's, it's interesting to think about that, right? What would history have been if Brock Lesnar hadn't been here in the way of Roman Reigns over these last few years? George Foreman might have gone down as the greatest champion of all time, except he was born in Muhammad Ali's era. And I, unfortunately for Roman Reigns, he's here in the most dominant person I have ever seen. You talk about a two-sport champion, the only thing that is st stopping Brock Lesnar from becoming a two-sport champion, once again, going back to UFC with the WWE Championship, is Roman Reigns. This is the biggest night of Roman Reigns' life. Well, listen, Paul Heyman might want you to believe that Roman Reigns has no chance and that he always loses to Brock Lesnar, but hold on one second. With the exception of WrestleMania, Brock never, Brock rarely is able to take advantage of Roman Reigns to that point. He, he t in Saudi Arabia, Roman Reigns believes he won that match. Roman Reigns truly believes he can beat Brock Lesnar. And I think he possibly could. The problem is he has not been able to. Matchups make fights. And sooner or later, you fall short enough, you start believing it deep down yourself. I don't know if Roman Reigns is at that point or not. Roman Reigns is an incredible, incredible athlete. The problem is Brock Lesnar has been better. You look at what Brock Lesnar has done right here at SummerSlam. He turned John Cena into Suplex City. 16-time world high. champion. He throws Cena all over, over the and arena. Over and over and over. Last year, in a fatal four-way, you had Joe, you had Roman, you had Braun. Brock walks out of that as champion. Brock Lesnar, it, to me, I think walks out of here, out of Brooklyn, as champion. So if you're Roman Reigns right now and you're sitting in the back, what are you thinking about when you know this is probably it? He's, he's not getting another this chance. Is this is it. This is it. I, I think you go out there and you, you, it's like the old coach says, you play like you're in somebody else's body. you got to throw everything at. This is, as far as Roman Reigns goes, this is his career in a nutshell tonight. If there's any time to pull out all stops, forget about tomorrow, forget about tonight, forget about what happens to you, you got to find a way to win. Roman Reigns is a winner. But he has not been able to do that against Brock Lesnar yet. Tonight, to me, is the ultimate. Is there any chance that Brock Lesnar is already fantasizing about the idea of going back to UFC with that Universal Championship on his shoulder and kind of overlooks Roman Reigns, thinks he has his number too much? Are you kidding me? Yes. Yes, I think that's a distinct possibility. You look at the greats that have come from the amateur world, like a, like a Jack Briscoe, who became NWA champion, like a Kurt Angle, who became WWE champion. Brock Lesnar wants to go down as the greatest of all time. Nobody's been able to do both at the same time. Brock Lesnar wants to do this. He knows history is at stake. Is there a chance he's looking past Roman's? Roman? Yes, and that's Roman's chance. Hey, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you, JBL. Let's toss it back to Renee and the gang to break down everything else as we get ready for SummerSlam. Look, I got a piggyback off of what JBL just said. I think that there is a huge chance that, that uh, Roman Reigns can get one up on Brock tonight in the sense that Brock could have his focus set too much on UFC right now. He's made it abundantly clear that his sights are set in another direction, and this could be that opening for Roman Reigns to step in, who's also just an undeniable athlete as is. Yeah, look, I, I agree with you, Renee, because you're agreeing with me mainly. <laughs> <laughs> but look, that is the chance. Look, Roman Reigns, this is a fraction of a difference so far between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. But that fraction has gone to Brock. The question is, is it a big enough night that that fraction is eliminated? And is there a chance that Brock Lesnar is looking past Roman Reigns, trying to look at history of being a dual sport champion at the same time, which has never been done? OK, well, John, I'm sorry, I'm just going to jump in real quick. John, talking about uh, the factor of uh, Paul Heyman here, are you buying everything that Paul Heyman's putting down? Do you think that he could still be a factor here tonight? Yes, uh, Paul, Paul Heyman is an absolute dirtbag, but, <laughs> but Paul oh. Heyman is a survivor and he helps his clients win. There's been no one, 
no one in the history of this business as successful as Paul Heyman. And part of that is the fact he has no scruples. He has no morals. He, there is nothing he won't do to let his guy walk out as champion. And is Paul Heyman a factor? You're damn right he is. He's a huge factor. Yo, John, you know about the driving, motivating factor, you know, of being champion. Uh, you cannot disagree with me as far as this being a, 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 a ultimate moment for Brock Lesnar to go out there, defend tonight, go to the UFC, beat Daniel Cormier, hold two championships up, something no man has ever done before in this business. I don't think Brock Lesnar is going to sleep on that moment. I don't think he's going to go out there and underestimate this situation. Do you agree with me or not on that? Yeah, look, Book, I, I agree with my Hall of Fame friend, that, that being you, that yes, I, I don't think Brock Lesnar is necessarily going to sleep. I think the one chance that Roman Reigns has is that Brock is slightly looking past Roman Reigns. And I think there is something like that. He knows what's at stake with history. He knows what's at stake if he does this. He will go down as the greatest of all time if he is a dual sport champion. No one's done that. He'll be the most dominant combat athlete in history if he does that. And I, I can't think that's not weighing on his mind. See, but, but this is exactly why Roman Reigns has a chip on his shoulder. Because we keep talking about Brock Lesnar. What about Roman Reigns? This is a, de de uh, a decorated champion. This is why he has such a battery in his back tonight. This is why I like Roman Reigns. I cannot wait to see it. We are less than three minutes away from SummerSlam. We're gonna get, let's go watch this thing. I'm ready to watch. I can't wait to see this one. All right, Renee. Can you imagine what it's going to be here like in a sold out Barclays Center if Roman Reigns walks away as a universal champion tonight? This place is gonna go bonkers. You know, Absolutely. I, I talk about I talk about what's at stake, you know, for, for Brock Lesnar, but you know, by, by no means am I looking past Roman Reigns coming out here and pulling this off. If anyone in that locker room, if any one of those superstars in that locker room could come out here tonight at, at SummerSlam and beat Brock Lesnar in the middle of that ring, one, two, three, it's going to be Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is truly the guy. And, and the thing is, I talked about the shoes that Roman Reigns had to feel. Could he do it? Of course he's done it. And the thing is, I agree with this. And I think Brock Lesnar, of all people, he knows that. He recognizes that. The reason I know Brock is not looking past Roman Reigns, why go through the trouble with the pepper spray or whatever that was? Trying to stop Roman Reigns, that shows he's worried about him. Keeping an that eye shows, on him. yeah, he's staying up late at night thinking about Reigns. I don't know. I heard Kurt Angle tell Baron Corbin earlier, uh, go back in Brock's uh, dressing room and cut a steak for him. Listen. <laughs> Brock is so strong, he's steak with a spoon. <laughs> this guy knows how strong and how tough he is, and I don't think he, I really don't think that, that he worries about Roman Reigns. I well, think he's that confident. Well, the fun part is that we are less than two minutes away from Whoa. going live here in the yeah. WWE Network, and now we get to sit back, enjoy the whole thing. What you guys need to do is head on over to WWENetwork.com, sign up, because SummerSlam is absolutely free to all new subscribers. Wow. You don't want to miss a second list. Every single championship in WWE is on the line tonight. Oh, these boys are getting set. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Check it, check it, quack, quack. SummerSlam. <laughs> Ronda Rousey has not forgotten what Alexa Bliss did to her in her championship opportunity in Money in the Bank. Rousey is not supposed to be here. What is she doing? Clearly, you don't understand the difference between USC and WWE. You overhyped rookie. Your match with Alexa Bliss will be for the Raw Women's Championship at SummerSlam. Ronda is ecstatic. Bliss is...